Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Miles, thank you for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to share some foundational awareness regarding tokenization and specifically how Sologenic is providing a portal to tokenize assets onto the XRP ledger. And before I begin, I'd also like to share a quick and special thank you to anyone from the Zen Lounge from Solo Nation who has reached out during the past week uh, during the dramas. All is well, and through it all, I appreciate the opportunity to grow stronger individually and collectively. So to set the stage for what tokenization and even more fundamentally what blockchain is, I wanted to share this brief clip that I feel gives a good macro summation of the evolution of technology in this regard. But there is a new technological institution that will fundamentally change how we exchange value and it's called the blockchain. Now, that's a pretty bold statement, but if you take nothing else away from this talk, I actually want you to remember that while blockchain technology is relatively new, it's also a continuation of a very human story. And the story is this. As humans, we find ways to lower uncertainty about one another so that we can exchange value. Now, one of the first people to really explore the idea of institutions as a tool in economics to lower our uncertainties about one another and be able to do trade was the Nobel economist Douglas North. He passed away at the end of 2015, but North pioneered what's called new institutional economics. And what he meant by institutions were really just formal rules, like a constitution, and informal constraints, like bribery. These institutions are really the grease that allow our economic wheels to function. And we can see this play out over the course of human history. If we think back to when we were hunter-gatherer economies, we really just traded within our village structure. We had some informal constraints in place, but we enforced all of our trade with violence or social repercussions. As our societies grew more complex and our trade routes grew more distant, we built up more formal institutions. Institutions like banks for currency, governments, corporations. These institutions helped us manage our trade as the uncertainty and the complexity grew, and our personal control was much lower. Eventually, with the internet, we put these same institutions online. We built platform marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, just faster institutions that act as middlemen to facilitate human economic activity. As Douglas North saw it, institutions are a tool to lower uncertainty so that we can connect and exchange all kinds of value in society. And I believe we are now entering a further and radical evolution of how we interact and trade because for the first time, we can lower uncertainty, not just with political and economic institutions, like our banks, our corporations, our governments, but we can do it with technology alone. So what is blockchain? Blockchain technology is a decentralized database that stores a registry of assets and transactions across a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's basically a public registry of who owns what and who transacts what. The transactions are secured through cryptography, and over time, that transaction history gets locked in blocks of data that are then cryptographically linked together and secured. This creates an immutable, unforgeable record of all of the transactions across this network. This record is replicated on every computer that uses the network. It's not an app, it's not a company. I think it's closest in description to something like Wikipedia. So a highlight or a piece out of this one that I felt personally that was really important is just coming to the recognition that blockchain serves as this public decentralized infrastructure that removes the need for an institution or middlemen to act as a trusted entity to intermediate trade. And I feel like it's important to share awareness and knowledge around this technology so that we as humanity can use it to empower ourselves. A shout out to Albert and to One to Rule Them All uh, for sharing this screenshot on the Sologenic ecosystem. I wanted to read over it briefly with you guys. So the Sologenic platform enables investing, trading, and on-demand tokenization of traditional assets such as stocks, ETFs, and commodities on an advanced and modern blockchain that is designed for the financial industry. Those of us in the XRP community definitely know the resilience, strength, efficiency uh, of the XRP ledger. Assets tokenization is a revolutionary new process where real world assets become digital tokens that can circulate securely and transparently on the blockchain. By switching to a tokenized system, investors can liquefy real-world assets while retaining the characteristics of the asset. Asset tokenization is executed by Sologenic. The Sologenic system generates stablecoins backed one-to-one -one with real-world assets. Users can store and take custody of these tokenized assets on their own private online or offline digital wallets securely without requiring any third party to keep the private keys. Another key feature that is related to this that I also feel is really important is the proof of solvency. It says on the Sologenic white paper that as the world of blockchain permeates our financial institutions, it becomes critical to verify the legitimacy of relationships, such as confirming the relationship of a tokenized asset to a real world asset held in the trust. 
To be transparent, Sologenic exposes an endpoint that allows for the public to view the inventory of real world assets fetched via the third party APIs and their corresponding digitized asset on the XRP ledger. In addition to providing a public section to view assets and liabilities via the platform, Sologenic plans to conduct third-party audits that would certify the authenticity of the assets. In this article on Bybit.com, it says, in other words, by facilitating tokenization, alternative assets like crypto can be used for making investments, not only in crypto or NFT, but also in stocks or other traditional investment vehicles. Examples include investments in everything from cryptocurrency basket of Fortune 500 companies to commercial real estate, public business projects, and even antique art. Also featured in this article is Solonex, which is Sologenics tokenization brokerage solution, uh, exclusively designed for investment firms, banks, exchanges, brokerage houses, and other institutional investors. It can tokenize a multitude of real world assets. If you are curious to dive deeper into Sologenic, I would highly suggest reading their white paper and also checking out this particular article, which I think does a good job summarizing um, everything about what Sologenic is aiming to accomplish and has accomplished already. Another piece that I feel can help this reality and the advent of tokenization and blockchain uh, to really sink in um, is this conversation that the Bank of France recently had uh, that included uh, Jerome Powell and Christine Lagarde and many others and they're discussing uh, specifically about tokenization. As in this international conference, we involve an open and interactive discussion in the new and disruptive ecosystems that are rapidly emerging in the financial sector at a global level as a result of emerging innovative technologies. These new ecosystems cover a wide array of activities, ranging from the tokenization of assets to decentralized finance, aiming to go beyond borders and sometimes circumventing intermediaries. And shout out to Hassan 5 d for initially sharing this video. Finally, just briefly, I also wanted to just share that in addition to asset tokenization solutions, there's also a culture and a community that is active creating and building on the platform, particularly on the NFT side of things. We also have an article from The Tokenist and shout out to Zen for sharing this article. It says, the total size of tokenized assets globally is expected to grow by more than 50,000% and reach a staggering 16 trillion by 2030, as per a recent report. The increasing interest in more private and illiquid markets will likely fuel the growth in the tokenization of assets over the coming years. According to a new report by global consulting from BCG and the Digital Exchange for Private Markets, ADDX, there is a huge market for tokenized assets as they help bring liquidity to illiquid markets. So think about it, an everyday asset such as a trading card could now be tokenized onto the blockchain and traded on a decentralized exchange that is public open access that anybody in the world can use. So in conclusion, there is so much more to be said about tokenization really here. I just wanted to paint a broad brush stroke to provide kind of a macro, easy to digest summary of tokenization. I would say that the curiosity to learn about tokenization and blockchain may be our own most valuable asset going forward so that we can learn how to use this technology and empower ourselves as individuals and as a community. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about this and wishing you all a beautiful day. See you in the next one.